it's your girl Ashley here and I'm here with my June wrap up and July not TBR yet so I don't really know what I'm reading yet um but in the month of June I read four books which is crazy for me because you know I read slow and I really don't read a lot um but I've got some really awesome books and some awesome gems and I just want to share with you the first one that I read was Attachments by Rainbow Row. I've never read a Rainbow Row book. I got this off Book Outlet at my store for like $5, I think it was. And I actually love Rainbow Row's um, new adult books. I don't like her young adult, but I love her new adult. Uh, this centers on three people, which is Lincoln, Beth, and trying to think because I read it a while ago uh and Jennifer now Lincoln has to monitor these emails through people um his, through his company and he's reading Beth and Jennifer's emails back together and he just is not somebody who has a lot of friends because he feels bad because he reads the emails and stuff so he doesn't really have any friends um but he ends up falling in love with Jennifer and trying to tell her, you know, hey, I love you. I fell in love with you through your emails that you never knew that I was reading. And it's just a funny book, a great book. Um, I love the cover of it. Um, the characters, they were so relatable. That's why I love Rainbow Row. Her characters are so relatable. Um, character development was awesome. And this was a phenomenal book. And this got me into reading so much New Adult Contemporary. It's crazy because of this one book. Then after that, um, I went from contemporary to horror. I read The Merciless by Daniel Vega. First of all, I have to say the cover. This book was designed beautifully. I gave it, oh, in um, Attachments, I gave a five, four out of five stars. I think, or five, no, five out of five stars, because that book is, like, my top ten books of 2014 that I loved. Um, but this one, I just love the cover. It's got deckled edges, but they're not, like, real deckled edges. Um, the cover design is phenomenal. I love how it says, forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. I love the inside of it. I'm sure you've all seen this. I picked this up on Amazon for pre-order. Phenomenal book. Um, I read it in, like, three days. It was crazy. It's one of the books where you want to just sit down and read it and not be disturbed. Um, and it follows, I'm reading the thing a little bit, Brooklyn, Sophie, and a couple of other friends. I can't think of their, their names. But they're trying to exercise this girl because they think she's a demon. And so much chaos ensues in this book. You wouldn't think it's a really graphic book because it's pink. But the looks are deceiving. I mean, it was scary. And I normally am not scared in the books, but I felt like the pain that was going through. There were nails getting ripped off, fingers getting chopped off, people getting hurt and cut. And it was just crazy. But this book was amazing. I gave this five out of five stars. I hope they make a second one because I love Daniel Vega's writing. She's beautiful. She's so cute. And I just love this book. Now, after that book, I went back into my contemporary kick. I started reading a little bit of Murder Complex, but for some reason, whenever I try to read that, I just really want to read contemporary. So I read, I don't have it with me, the physical copy, because I let my mom borrow these two books to read because they were phenomenal. And the first one is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. If I had a cute little editing thing, I could put the picture right here, but I don't have it. Um, I've never read a Colleen Hoover book. I've been, you know, off because I didn't really like contemporary, but now I love it. And that book is one of my favorite books again of 2014 beautiful character development beautiful writing a just a beautiful experience like you feel like you were enwrapped in the caption and the characters you felt like you were involved the whole writing the music process of the songs that they did it was just an amazing experience and nothing like i've ever read before um, because when they showed a song, you would put the song, you would scan the little, the little, like, code, and you'd listen to the song, and it was just phenomenal. I love the songs on there, like, I want one of those songs for my wedding. Like, it's just a phenomenal book, and I cannot say enough good things about it. 
I've never read a Colin Hoover. I'm hooked. I ordered two Colin Hoover books, and I can't wait for them to come in. Um, but the story is about Sydney and Ridge, and Sydney, <coughs> this is not a spoiler, she finds out her boyfriend is cheating on her with her best friend, Tori, and she is just distraught. She goes outside. It's raining. Ridge tells her to come stay with him till she gets everything, you know, figured out, and they like each other, and there's so much, you know, tension because he has a girlfriend, and there's a twist behind that with her and Maggie, and it was just, it was just a phenomenal book. I loved Tori. I loved, I didn't like Tori. I didn't like Tori because she was the bad girl, but I, I loved Ridge. I loved Sydney. It, you got both points of view in the, in the book. I loved Maggie. I loved all, just all the characters. They were just so funny, and I loved them so much. And my phone's ringing. Hold on one second. Sorry, my mom was calling. Um, and I forget what I was saying, but that book was just phenomenal, and I loved it. Then after that, I was still in my contemporary mood, so I read To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I don't have it with me. It's such a beautiful cover. I love it. Great design. Beautiful cover. I just, I love Jenny Han's writing. I crave more of Jenny Han's writing. I flew through that book in two days. It's about a girl, Laura Jean. And she doesn't, not typical like normally me, like me and you would deal with somebody. But if she likes a boy, she writes a letter saying like, oh, I like this about you, but I know it's never going to work. And goodbye. So and then she puts him in a hat box so she doesn't have to deal with it anymore. And her letters get mailed out to all the boys that she's loved before. And one of the boys happened to be her sister's ex-boyfriend. And it's just crazy. His name is Josh. And I just, I love Josh so much. I, Peter, Pete, not so much, but I love Josh. I love Laura Jean. I love the family dynamic about it. Sad about the mother, but it was a phenomenal book. And I'm ordering The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Hong because I just loved her writing. It was so, so good. I gave that book five out of five stars. Um, so many awesome books have come out so many good gems that I am just so in love with the books that I read this month um July I can tell you definitely definitely three books that I'm reading or four books I'm going to be reading the first one is I'm reading Rule by J J Crownover um good book I like it so far I'm going to read that uh, I have it coming in the third the conversion, which is supposed to be like the crucible with teenagers and boarding school, and it sounds really scary. That, and then I'm reading Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. That's coming in because it just came out today, um, and I pre-ordered it, so I'm getting that. And then the next book I'm so excited to read is Rainbow Row Landline, which comes out July 8th. My Beyonce bought it for me for our two-year anniversary, and I cannot wait to get it. I'm so excited. Um, and those are the books that I'm pretty much going to be reading. I will have reviews of all the books that I've read if you would like me to do that. And I'm thinking about having my fiancé likes to read a little bit of middle grade adventure. So I'm thinking I'll have him do reviews on this channel too, so that way I can open up my subscribers to new books that I personally wouldn't read, but maybe they would. Um, so look forward to that. And like I always say, keep crime right on. Bye guys. Happy reading.